Walther PPK is a series of blowback operated semi-automatic pistols designed in Germany in 1929. It's a famous pistol and there's many people that have made it famous over the years. But overall it's just a pistol that a lot of us have a great appreciation for and there's a lot of things people know about the Walther PPK. But what we're going to talk about is we're going to talk about the top 10 things you probably didn't know about the Walther PPK. Number one, the original Walther PP was larger than the PPK. PP stands for police pistol. Police forces in Europe use the PP. It had very advanced safety features for the time. It had an automatic hammer block, safety decocker, loaded chamber indicator, and the PPK is smaller because in 1930, they made a concealed carry version. The K stands for Kurtz or short for undercover. Number two, many variables led to the end of World War II, but it was a shiny golden Walther PPK that ended the war in Europe with a fatal self-inflicted gunshot wound ending the life of Adolf Hitler. Number three, following World War II in Germany being heavily occupied by the Soviet Union, this caused Walther to flee to West Germany, setting up a factory in Ulm. Later, Allied forces forbid firearm production in Germany, causing Walther to set up shop in France until 1986. Number four, due to the Gun Control Act of 1968, Walther PPK was one ounce too light to be imported into the U.S. Walther combined the frame of the PP with the slide and barrel of the PPK, ultimately adding 1.2 ounces, making it viable for import into the U.S. Number five, due to import laws in 1983, Walther brought production to the U.S., which does allow domestic production of the lighter PPK. So pre-1983 PPKs are PP-PPK combos. However, post-1983 PPKs are the true Walther PPKs here in the U.S. Number six, the Walther PPK ended dictator rule in South Korea in 1979 with the assassination of Park Chung Lee by the head of the Korean Central Intelligence Agency, ultimately leading to democracy in South Korea. Number seven, in 2002, Smith & Wesson started producing the PPK in the U.S. until 2017 under the Walther name. Walther recently picked up PPK production themselves in Fort Smith, Arkansas. If you have a Walther PPK between 2002 and 2017, it's actually a Smith & Wesson PPK. Number eight. Number seven is important to know because in 2009, Smith & Wesson issued a recall of the Smith & Wesson PPK version of Walther's for safety concerns regarding the hammer block safety. Number nine. The most famous PPK of all is, of course, James Bond CCW. However, Ian Fleming originally gave 007 a Beretta 418 and 25 ACP. On the advice of firearm expert Joffrey Boothroyd, he of course switched to the PPK. And finally, number 10. Due to the popularity of the James Bond film, 80% of PPKs sold to the public, meaning they're not police or military issue, are actually sold in the U.S. And a lot of James Bond films had everything to do with that. So there you go. There's the top 10 things you probably didn't know about the Walther PPK. If you like this video, click like and subscribe. You can also now find us at GodFamilyGuns.org and also on Facebook. You can also now be a patron of this channel and our Patreon link is below. But by far, the most important part of this YouTube channel is it really is a ministry to us, so please don't ever hesitate to send that stuff in. Thank you for watching this episode of God, Family, and Guns. And as always, love God, love your family, and love guns.